Hello, spiritual explorers. Buckle up as we delve back into the mystical realm of Kabbalistic concepts, this time focusing on the link between our seven emotive attributes and the godly soul. Yesterday we took a fascinating journey through the landscape of Hest, Givura and Tifres, understanding their function in our everyday life. But today we're going to push that door open a little wider and peek inside to see how these attributes operate through the godly soul. Imagine the godly soul as an artist's canvas. It's waiting, eager, ready to be splashed with colours and shaped by our emotive attributes. Our hest, our love and kindness, leaves bold strokes of warmth and generosity. Shavura, our discipline and restraint, adds structure and balance. Tiferas, our beauty and harmony, ties it all together, creating a masterpiece of personal growth and divine connection. And here's where it gets even more beautiful. Our actions, every mitzvah we perform, every act of charity, every word of gratitude, they're all like the artist's brush, adding more depth and detail to this divine portrait. The talus we wear, the tzedakah we give, the sukkah we build, they're not just rituals. They're opportunities to express our unique blend of emotive attributes to beautify our personal piece of this cosmic art project. And let's not forget the essential role of gratitude. Never withhold your thanks to Hashem. Consider gratitude as the final touch, the varnish that seals and protects our masterpiece. It adds a layer of depth, a sheen of humility, a gloss of contentment. So dear listeners, let's continue to paint our lives with the vibrant colors of our emotive attributes. Let's create a masterpiece that reflects not just who we are, but also the divine spark with us. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep painting.